Good morning. Uh, down at Brampton today with uh, Beyond the Beep, just a little cross border raid. Um, arrived here a little bit late this morning, and here's my first signal sitting on the top of the ground. It's, uh, it's a penny. Let's see what's on here. Uh, you give that a little clean off. I'll let's see it after this. No, that's good. Penny, first signal. Oh, good morning. Welcome to another episode of Falkirk Detect. I'm wearing my glasses today. I don't want to miss anything at all. Plus, I'm fed up putting them on and off all the time. So, um, I've got a good signal down here. Uh, it's reading out about 24, 27, so let's have a look, see what it is. Uh, it's a coin. It's another one, not. It's a copper. This looks like a half penny. Dates worn off at the bottom there, but you can see Britannia sitting there. So, oh, is it on this side? Can you see? It's quite worn on that side. I'm sure I'll be able to figure out what it is though, but that's good. That's two two coins, a penny and a half penny. Just found this. Yeah, I think you can see that. Tiny little. Oh, it looks like a, a button. Thought it was a coin. Yeah, tiny little button. Yeah, just a little flat button. There we go. That sounded a lot bigger than that. It was ringing out about 13 on the Equinox 800. And there you go. I think there might still be a shank in the back now. I think it's maybe just a little slot in there. Yeah, possibly. You give it a proper clean up, but there you go. Especially Roman finds the size of your, your phallus. <laughs> so you don't want one. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> Put that thing away. Right, I'm going to turn this off before it gets worse. What year is it, Jim? 1949. This is sandy soil down here. Mind if I see it, Jim? Alright, thank you. Very good. Just a half sovereign. There we go. Gold half sovereign. Is it 1849? 1849. Well done, Jim. We're getting over these now. Aye. Scarves. 300 miles apart. Scarves. 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 So weird to that, isn't it? Yeah, That's a beauty. Look at the shape. Perfect. I've videoed it, so coming out of the, the floods, so that's good. Aye. No, that's cracking. That'd fit me as well. That's a wedding band, isn't it? Yeah. Aye, you can see the hallmarks on the inside there. Nice one. 
Oh, I just found this. Looks like an old gilded button. See if we can get anything off there. Might have a bit of a design on it. Um, I'll have a look after this though. That will. Something else. Um, down the bottom end of this field now, so this is where I take a trip up by where the entrance to the gate is and walk my way up there see if anybody dropped anything on that way right let's keep going right let's see what this is it's ringing out 23 quite strong signal probably about six inches down oh, it's in here there we go Oh, it's silver. <laughs> nice. So, is that William? Yeah. Nice. Very nice. That's a good, good we find that. On the board with the silver. A sixpence. Awesome. Yep, that's a beauty. Nice one. I knew I'd find something coming up towards this gate. And it's a wee silver. Cracking signal. It's ringing out at 22. Nice deep tone. Well, a deep high tone, if that makes sense. Clear. What's the date on it? Let's give it a wee scoosh over. These gloves feel so clunky today. Uh, dates on the bottom, it's a tiny little date on these though. I don't know, 1831? Something like that. Right, cool. On the next. Well, this is what I've got so far. I just found that. I think it's a trade bait. I'll speak to Derek. He'll be able to give me a bit more info about it, but it's definitely in the ballpark of that. So, penny, half penny. What's that? The, uh, I think that's actually a cuff link. The William the Fourth. it's 1834. Little buttons. No idea what that is. Seen them before, but could be like a stud. Uh, but anyway, let's keep going. Took me a while to find that one. Thought it was going to end up being a bit iron. Yeah, it's ringing out 23. Still got the shank in the back. Nice little flat button there. Oh well, still got a nice shape to it. Feels pretty solid. Right, on and in. This was giving a strange signal. It's a bit funny today, the signals. They've not been solid, jumping about a wee bit. It's like a half penny. Looks pretty worn. Not quite sure. 
Don't even know what side is there. Uh, Britannia. I don't know. Maybe if I wet it later or give it a little rinse, it might bring up some detail. Might dry out, okay. Right, on to the next. Just falling out now. It's like a half penny. Lucky to get any detail off of that. It's fairly worn. Oh well, it's another coin though. Let's take that in the pouch. It's the afternoon now, it is roasting hot. A little breeze, but the sun's come out. It is top, uh, scorching. So, anyway, let's keep going. Well, I went down to the bottom of the field, I've been zigzagging up between two sets of uh, tractor tracks. Just found this button, a little pure button. Shank's missing off the back there. There you go. That's what I found in the past hour. So things are starting to quiet, quieting down a bit. It's like somebody's turned the field off after lunchtime. But there you go. Maybe this is the start of some more signals coming up. Right, let's keep going. Right, this will probably be my last signal of the day. Unless uh, Derek wants to stay for a little bit longer. But this is ringing about 21.22 really. Oh. It's over here somewhere. And what's it? Is it a coin or is it a button? I think it's a coin. Yeah, it's probably a half penny. Seen better days though. Not sure. Don't know what that is. Don't think it's Roman anyway. Might come out a bit better with a toothpick later. Oh well. There you go. Well thanks for joining me today. And um, I'm going to be back down to England next week. For the weekend or the, down to the Mine Lab weekend. Uh, CTTS. Down between Barnsley and Doncaster. So I'll catch you on that video. And if you're out, happy hunting.